The spirit of prophecy is at work in our midst and can no longer be denied. God's redemptive and preserving hand is directly involved in the affairs of the nation and nations through the presence of his chosen prophet, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. In recent weeks, the media has been abuzz with the sudden and surprising dismissal of two key security leaders. But sure enough, one with heaven's pulse on events that are yet to transpire, Prophet Elvis Simbonye had already declared these exact developments far in advance, July the 2nd, 2017. In the name of Jesus, as sure as the word of God is, may you rise up, you rise up, you rise up, no man can stop you. Amen. No devil can stop you. Amen. You rise up. Amen. I see a controversy that I will keep quiet about because you're not ready. Okay, in the name no, we of are Jesus. Ready, sir. We are ready, sir. We are ready, sir. You know, as the Lord, the Lord has been showing me around here. Uh, and which has to do with this nation. Amen. <laughs> I don't put you in trouble. Let me leave Please, you. please. <laughs> because uh, they will come for you. <laughs> okay. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as you begin to move and to show the world, to show the world that they which belonged together of the same household have even now fallen out, then and I'm seeing the guys I'm talking about. Eh? I can mention a name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, please. Go deeper, I'm talking sir. about Go deeper, things sir. that you're going to start to see in the news. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Then shall they know they of the same household and they have been all along and it has never been conceived such a thing that how could how could they fall out like this then shall you know that the word of the Lord is now Amen. then shall you know that the gates of hell shall not prevail Amen. then shall you know that your entrance has been made sure and clear Amen. says the spirit of the living God Amen. for I had them I had them yes. as a prophet of God and one <laughs> Release, let me not go there Release, Father I thank you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and he was called and he was asked that is this true <laughs> what I am hearing then he said <laughs> Thank you Father Amen Thank you Father Amen We release peace upon this land Amen And we declare That no matter what happens Amen. Your peace prevails Amen In the name of Jesus Amen for they shall see the two bulls. <laughs> the prophecy speaks to the unprecedented nature of this prophetic authority in a number of ways. 
The prophecy spoke of a falling out between two of the same household. This had to do with both generals being heads of security in the nation. They are also of the same political party and were brought up within the same military under the National Resistance Movement. In the prophecy, the prophet disclosed that we would see it in the news. In the months that followed, the feud between these two former security generals that was not the focus of the media started to dominate news headlines until the president suddenly fired the both of them at the same time, something that had never been conceived, just as the prophecy accurately stated. President Yuri Museveni shakes up at the two major security institutions in the country that have been in the news over alleged bickering. President Yuri Museveni this evening announced the shuffle shuff that dropped Security Minister Henry Tumkunde, replacing him with uh, Eli Tumwine, and also dropped Inspector General of Police Kale Kaihura, replacing him with uh, Okoth Ochola. Also, Prophet Elvis Simbonye spoke of two bulls. In the months following, former Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura and former Minister of Security General Henry Tumukunde, both of tremendous power and influence and seemingly untouchable, have made no secret of their public disagreement for one another, causing concern and unrest in both the party and the public. With the fallout between these two security chiefs creating a national security threat, this has led to the worst period of internal insecurity the country has seen since President Museveni took power. Yeah, the appointments themselves uh, of Tumukunde to head security when Kaigora was heading police created a lot of debate on what kind of relationship that will be had. We remember very closely that there were uh, several fights within the security circles. We also saw fights between General Kale Kaigura and General Tumukunde, something that has raised uh, many questions as, as, as to how the security of this country has been managed. And as the Prophet has done countless times, both nationally and internationally, he once again preserved the nation, praying for peace in the land regardless of the outcome of this dispute. We release peace upon this land. Amen. And we declare that no matter what happens, Amen. your peace prevails. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This was to be a sign. God was uniting his house and clearing the path for his children. Thank you, Father. I bring my household together. Amen. And I show the power of the deliver. Amen. Through them and upon them. Amen. That the nations will see and know. Amen. That I indeed, I, the Lord, Amen. I am their salvation. Amen. And I am their hope. Amen. And the world shall begin to run for come and for hope. My house, amen. And they shall behold my power, says the Spirit of the living God, amen. And they shall know, they shall know that they that put their trust in horses and chariots, amen, and in the arm of the flesh shall be put to naught. They shall know that I, even I, am the Lord, the Alpha and the Omega. The one who opens a door and no man shuts. Amen. And who closes a door and no man walks through. Amen. Says the spirit of the living God. Where forces beyond normal perception would have caused instability and disarray in the lives of God's people. He has raised up a standard in the presence of his prophet. One whose constant intercession on the nation's behalf has averted disaster more times than we'll ever know. So it is with reverence that we display our jubilation, celebration of gratitude, and unwavering double honor to God's voice of peace in our day and age, Prophet Elvis Mbonye.